So when you invest into these kinds of businesses, um, how important do you see it as these businesses should have an exit strategy? Well, the exit strategy is, is vitally important. I mean, if someone's like, say someone's 25 and they came to me, look, I've, you know, I've done this, I've made some mistakes, but I've got this new business and that's growing really rapidly. And mm -hmm. what I need is I need to become a, a, a more mature leader, a better business person. I need your support. And I'd be like, okay, great. So um, if I'm going to get involved, and whether either it doesn't matter if it's a, a, a exchange of uh, time or value for equity or a capital investment or both, it, it's neither here nor there. It's the same thing is I want to see an exit in the next five-ish years. I want to know that this is a five-year ride I'm jumping on board for. Let's yep. get done and let's get out and uh, on, on the other side. And sometimes because when they get to that point, they're actually paying dividends. It's like, okay, well, I'm not going to get out. Uh, there's no point selling the business because it's like a golden goose now. It's laying yeah. golden eggs. <laughs> I'm getting some small golden eggs every month and I'm, I'm okay with that. And it's, it's like I just leave it, leave it running and make sure that we, we still have our advisory board meetings and, and, and things like that as well to make sure that everything's staying on track. So in terms of exit strategies, there's a few different ones out there. So one might be trying to identify in the future what sort of bigger businesses might want to buy your company. Absolutely.